In this session, we're looking at transaction types for creditors. So we're going to say Utilities, Setup, Module Parameters. We click on the Creditors tab and there we select Transaction Types and then we click on Setup. Now these transaction types will be available for you when you use your Creditors Journal options whether it's a single journal or a batch journal that you can use. You can add transaction types here. You can edit them. When you edit them, make sure that the ledger account that you have selected for this specific transaction type is correct. Make sure your VAT selection is correct. And then you can also specify if you want to print out a document with this specific journal that you're creating. To design that document you will go for instance to your single journals and you'll see that there's a button that will allow you to design. But let me show you where you'll find the transaction types. If we close module parameters we'll go to creditors, journals and let me select single journals. Here you would choose a creditor, you can manipulate your date and then you select the specific transaction type that you would like to use. Remember, if you choose invoice or credit note, this transaction will no, not have any stock influence. This will then merely have the influence on the ledger account you selected and the specific creditor. And I just want to show you, this is the design of the transaction report that you would then do. If you say process and you close, it will print this transaction type and then it will also allow you a summary report. At this stage, they're both the same, so you can go and change the specific transaction type. If I close here and take you back to module parameters, creditors, select transaction types and click on setup. I've mentioned you can add, I've mentioned you can edit, you can delete. It won't delete the transactions already in the system. You can preview a report. If you preview, you can design. We've got a graft option that you can look at with all the transactions. You can edit that graph, you can search. But what is important to look here is it will give you a month count and then it will give you a total for each month that you're currently in. It will also indicate if you want to, or if you selected that you want to print a report. And that concludes looking at transaction types while busy with creditors.